Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm a PhD student at Arizona State University, so naturally, I study the ocean, which is kind of impossible. It's huge, we have zero control over it, and we are completely out of our element while in it. We can pack up and load out on a boat to go collect some samples, and in the blink of an eye, rough ocean conditions or bad weather can completely derail any plans for field work. So many unknowns remain. What we do know is that microplastics have invaded virtually every ocean ecosystem from top to bottom, beach to beach, from the smallest organisms to the largest. And among the largest are marine mammals, whose poop I've studied. And what I've found is extremely troubling. Many of these organisms are inundated with microplastics and contaminants. Now they're not eating these small plastics themselves. They're eating the fish, which are eating the smaller organisms that are ingesting the plastic. And it's the same fish you and I are eating. Now it's not just the plastics themselves that are a threat. As they break down, their surface area increases, allowing for contaminants to attach at high concentrations. And this is in addition to the chemicals which are already present in the plastics themselves. Now I get it. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the enormity of this problem. But there are things that you can do as a consumer which can help limit the flow of plastics into the ocean. Personally, I've been much more aware about what I'm flushing down the drain. Polyester, for example, is a unique plastic fiber which is often shed in the wash, and it disintegrates very easily. And I've found these same fibers in the stomachs of crabs and in the feces of seabirds, which have had no contact with human beings. Now, I'm not saying to throw out your entire closet, but the next time you're buying a new shirt, maybe opt for the cotton one and not the poly blend. As scientists, we have a unique but limited perspective into the world of plastic pollution, so it's incredibly important that we reach out to as many people as possible. So let me turn it back to you. Have you seen plastic waste in your community? Any idea for how to reduce it? Tell me about it. I've spoken with people all over the world who have ended up sending me plastic pollution samples, from Seychelles to South Africa, Australia, and some of these people have even started their own beach cleanup groups. What I've learned from these interactions is beyond important. Under the microscope can answer some questions, but still so many remain. So that's where you come in. Let's see what we can accomplish together. Our oceans are the food we eat, the air we breathe, and the places we associate with happiness. As long as those facts remain, so should our fight to protect them.